I'm running for the mobile base for MediaTek, which is a mobile phone chipset. As you know, uh, recently, the whole mobile phone, either for chipset or the phone makers, uh, suffer or kind of uh, facing the headwinds. Uh, <clears throat> some company close, uh, some company laying off, some, some company continue to lose money. I want to share a very funny stuff of one of our major customers in Asia. <clears throat> he said that, you know, uh, when people pass away, uh, there have been some interview in front of the heaven. There's some angel to check what did you do when, when you were alive. If I, you are doing good, you are going to heaven. If you are doing bad, you go to hell. <clears throat> so one day, a uh, very bus accident or train accident, something like that, three people passed away. The first people, the angel uh, questioned the first people. What did you do when you were alive? He said, um, I am the um, county governor in Asia. You know, uh, some place in Asia, the county or the government means corruption. So then the angel check, okay, you are government, and that's not good, you go to hell. The second one, uh, the angel asked him, what did, you do? what did you do when you were alive? He said, that I, I make people happy. How come? What's that? Well, I sell drugs. <laughs> go to hell, no question. Right? The third gentleman, and you say, uh, what did you do, boy? He said that, I am working for the phone company. Well, then you say, poor boy, come in. You are already in the hell for so long. <laughs> That's kind of reflect the current situation <clears throat> for, current, the, for the industry. But it's not our point of view. Yeah. We saw, as just uh, Johan mentioned, we saw still in the future there's still a lot of opportunity to grow. Uh, it's a new um, type of uh, lifestyle technology we can develop. But I want to put a uh, time frame to somehow a near a more near term, maybe the one or two years, for the product point of view, what kind of innovation and what kind of trend we saw for the mobile phone industry. The whole mobile phone industry coming from Motorola, it's uh, roughly 30 years ago. That's very old, very big, very heavy. And in these 30 years, there are few important milestones happened to this industry. For example, for the IBM, I don't quite remember IBM making phones ever. They have one PDA feature. That's a very, very generic smart-like device uh, in the history. And in the, uh, in the uh, 96 Nokia, I, that, that one I remember, they have some browse or um, keypad type uh, smart devices. And to early 2000, it comes in the BlackBerry. That's quite evolution, revolutionary stuff everybody can email on the go. And now, and finally, the Apple coming. The iPhone bring the touch app store whole brilliant um, user interface and ecosystem innovation to the world. And for the 12th, when iPhone is still, say that, insist to be 3.5 inch, the, um, the Samsung guys, the Korean guys, moved to the 5.5, uh, 4.5 or 5 inch phone, very huge, but it's very successful. Then iPhone follows. And this kind of recent uh, innovation, recent development that changed the human's behavior, basically. Number one, everybody is seeking for Wi-Fi anywhere. Yeah. Wi-Fi becomes the basic requirement for human beings. And uh, selfie is another basic at least for the female, I guess. And for the, um, if you in the public station, airport, anywhere, people are heading up, slide your tablet or phone without any communication with the other people sitting beside you. That's sad. 
and uh, they've come in for say that uh, people seems like uh, Apple Pay or NFC that's a remote or fingerprint remote identity security enable more new lifestyle we will uh, we can expect so from the product point of view what is the next the what is a very important feature or requirement for next one or two years for the smartphone from for MediaTek. Just Johan said that we are growing from an Asia company to the global presence. And uh, you probably know we are very good at for the mainstream entry level, good enough, and some uh, very uh, very uh, multi value <coughs> product used to be. And now we take our look, uh, our growth opportunity into the higher segments. So we hit, so we launched the Helio product in this year. That's our, that's our effort in past two years to move our up to higher segment to a uh, developed country. That's our, uh, that's why we are not so uh, pessimistic for this industry for us. So to get, look at a, a high, we mean the premium or higher end phone. What's the, what will be next? We thought there's two things. One is we need better power efficiency, which is the battery life, and we need better image and visual processing technology because the, uh, there's two very important issues that users still not very satisfied now. Why power is so important? Because with our survey, and we talked with some uh, market survey agency and the customers, the consumer, when consumer, what is their next phone? The number one consideration or the number three consideration would be what's the screen size? Is the 4.7 like iPhone 6 or 5.5 like plus? So the screen size becomes the number one consideration and the design is that look beautiful, it's sexy, thin, it's plastic, metal, it's shining or not. And the third one is how long it can be used, how long I can be recharged um, per use. The battery life is three. And uh, as a semiconductor company, we are very sad the processor CPU is not on the top three. Yeah. But that's the, what consumer need. So that kind of constraint, the requirement put a very heavy constraint for the future one or two years or three years, the phone design problem. Because one, the screen become bigger and bigger and bigger. Is there anyone still hold four inch smartphone now? Do you, anyone? No, yeah, I, I expect it's still one or two, but good. Uh, and when you have a bigger screen, you will never come back. Next phone will, you pick will be bigger than what you have now. That's the human nature. So the screen size will continue to grow and grow and grow. When the screen size grow, the power consumption grow for the screen. And to make a slim or sexy design, you cannot put a very large battery in, into that. So the memory and the screen size are eating the power and you don't have the breakthrough battery technology to increase the capacity. That puts a very, uh, you, you say the challenge or our opportunity to provide the same content to provide a chipset that suits for the, uh, this kind of trend. So we look into the co-pilot and the uh, mobile CPU technology to solve that problem. It's kind of a history. For the first generation, the mobile CPU two years ago, they apply uniform cores. They are either Cortex A8 or A9 or something like that. They are uniform, one kind of CPU handle different kind of a task. They are light tasks like the email, um, audio playback, or some screen uh, refresh. And they are median tasks like video, Facebook, uh, mid-range mid, mid of game, and uh, some multimedia applications. 
and they are very heavy tasks like a, a super heavy 3D game, uh, multi-thread browsers, and some uh, heavily uh, CPU burdened uh, multimedia video processing. So when, when the one kind of core deal with a different task, it will either, if the CPU core design been too small, and the heavy task will become slow. If the CPU design is very big, and for the light task, it become wasting the power. So our partner ARM um, make a very good uh, invention for that called the big little. So there are two kinds of core. One is big, one is small. So the small core, a little core running for light task, and the big core running for heavy task. That's basically it's a very good step forward to solve the CPU power problem. But given the constraint we face, that's not enough because they are very, very each task we need to optimize the power consumption. So we introduce the third cluster. So we kind of uh, based on ARM's big little architecture, we are kind of we have more innovation for our tri cluster idea. That's the between or you can optimize the small and big with the uh, new cluster of a micro ad. So some some task is not really fit into the uh, big cores so that you can move to the mid cluster. That saves the power. So the whole idea, that's, a, a, that, that's the new idea we bring for our uh, recent uh, Helio X20. It's, it's very similar like the cars, right? If you think about that, if you have only two gear of car, that sometimes you are use low gear that are wasting uh, your, your fuel. So from two gear, uh, expand to three gear. So for different road condition, different uh, situation, the optimal your power efficiency, which is a fuel efficiency. That's the whole idea for tri cluster. So in our Helio X20, we have three kinds of uh, clusters. One is the big A72, uh, running for 20, uh, 2.5 or 2.2 gigahertz. And the mid cluster, we, we, we pick the um, very balance of power and the performance 2 gigahertz A53. And for the housekeeping, light task, we design a special A53 running for 1.4 gigahertz. That's very uh, power efficient optimized for the different kind of tasks. And during in our computation and our experiment, uh, bound the simulation and real chips, it roughly can make 25 to 30 percent of uh, mobile CPU power saving. It, it is a lot. Uh, it's a lot. It is a, a kind that kind of power saving improvement is the uh, flagship or premium phone makers are looking for. So that's the first part about the power consumption. The second part we are talking about the image. I believe 99 percent of people use phone, uh, currently use smartphone. The number one use you will be, uh, say, the email, Facebook, and the uh, WhatsApp, something like that. And the second most used uh, features is camera, either selfie or take picture, food, um, slide, or anything, and you post on the uh, Facebook or WhatsApp. So to making a very good photo with your phone, is this still uh, the customer want it, and the phone makers uh, struggle with it because they still, it is still not enough nowadays. So for our X20 product, we will introduce two important future um, <clears throat> functions. Like one, number one, we improve whole photo uh, image experience to the um, DSLR-like. The other one, we are very good for, uh, for the uh, multi sensor, which is a dual camera or triple camera or, or quad camera solutions. With X20, we are announcing our uh, Imagic ISP, which is a media, it's the most advanced image process in the <coughs> mobile CPU. It has a very good image quality and a new feature including the real time depth engine, I will explain later and uh, pixel-level autofocus, I will explain later, too. 
with the image part do it because we run for the digital TV and the camera prints for for a while. So I will skip that. We have a bunch of quality improvement features in this generation. And most important, that's the uh, we are, we are the first one to provide a large aperture depth effect. If you are photography, you know the uh, the depth of field depends on your aperture. Nowadays, the flagship phone like Galaxy iPhone, they use roughly 2.0, 2.2 uh, aperture uh, number, so they can achieve the depth of depth of field like uh, left screen. And we, with our in magic dual sensor um, engine, it provides use dual sensor to focus on different distance, so it can provide the different uh, depth of field uh, information, and then we combine to the single frame. So it can uh, equivalently it can it can produce a depth of field effect roughly less than uh, aperture 1.0. That's very phenomenal because that. It looks your photo more professional if you are running for uh, photography. You know that, and uh, that currently some application can do that, but there's a post processing. They have to take a picture and run it for some software to produce the uh, produce this kind of effect. But in our X generate uh, in our image ISP, we 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 are real time hardware engine inside that, so people can see that data field view in preview mode. So people, this is what you see, this is what you get. There's no need for any post-processing anymore. The second one is fast focus. That uh, we work together with some leading sensors company, image sensor company, that we provide, uh, we call the pixel level autofocus. It's a, it is uh, four times faster than the current autofocus system. That make you can take the very, uh, enable you to get the best timing for the photo. If I run in photo, you know, the decisive moment is very important uh, stuff when you take photography. Okay. That concludes my presentation. If you want to take from media tech point of view, we still see a lot of growth area we can do. And for the um, product point of view, mobile product point of view, we see in the future in one or two years, the power consumption and the better image is what uh, a key area we are thinking about. Thank you very much.